Aha! God, it's been a really long time now. A really, really long time. Did I just find this? Did I end with this? In a sense, what modern physics is to the history of Western thought, Zen is to the development of the Eastern worldview. The ultimate refinement of more than 2,000 years of incessant debate, here? discussion, and critical development. Hmm. Yet the difference between the two could hardly be more marked. Whereas physics is interested above all in theories, concepts, and formulas. Zen values Formula the a, concrete and the continue. simple. Zen wants facts, not in the Western sense of things that are measurable and numerical, which are in fact abstractions but as living, immediate, and tangible. Its approach to understanding is not to theorize, because it recognizes that previously accumulated ideas and knowledge, in other words, memories of all kinds, block the direct perception of reality. Therefore, right. Zen adopts an unusual approach. Its buildup involves language, which is unavoidable. Any method, even if it turns out to be an anti-method, has first to convey some background in order to be effective. But the way Zen uses language is always to point beyond language, beyond concepts to the concrete. David Darling, 1996. Wacky. You know, uh, I, I, yeah, I guess that's, did I, did I listen to that last episode? It's it's um it's been like a solid month at least since I played this game because I ended up making like hour long super episodes that I could break down into tiny little pieces. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what I was really doing, to be honest. But uh, I think I got all of the the boat episode things down at least. So there's that. I shouldn't really need the boat for anything more than transportation at this point, which is nice. That's good. I'm not overly confident in saying that for sure, but uh, I'm pretty alright in saying with it for sure, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I really wish I had a... Wow, that's got to be a speed run. I was about to say it again. Oh, I wish I had something to talk about again. Yeah, shut up. Uh, you know what I can talk about? You know what's real funny? Um, so, me and my family were just sitting around watching, like, football on Christmas or whatever. Because uh, people in my family like watching football. I never really got that into football. But that was also mostly because, like, uh, I wasn't any good at it. So, um... I have a tendency to get really bitter about things that I'm not very good at. Uh, I'll, I'll admit that fully. Like, football is an interesting enough game. It's not, like, the most interesting thing in the world, but, uh, you know, I'm also not really good at it. So, I want to go that direction. Um, so, you know, I had, like, a freaking high school football coach that basically just had me sit out the whole time, which made the game even more boring. And, uh, you know just uh, didn't do anything for me. Am I going the right way? I feel like probably, right? Like this leads somewhere? Yes, it does. I'm sure good at navigating now. Normally this is where I would start looking at these, but I think I'm wrong. Also, how in the heck do you do something like that? I feel like I have to be wrong about the idea that uh, these point in the direction they come from. Probably. But, uh, I don't remember how exactly I came to that conclusion, to be honest. And, uh, you know. Oh, that's gonna be fun to get her get to. I have to go all the way around the freaking castle, don't I? I'm gonna end up, like, right back where I was at the beginning of the episode. This only happens a lot. So, uh, I guess... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like cutting or speeding these up. Mainly because, um... I don't normally really have to. I don't think there's a way out the back. Um, hey, I was right at least. 
Uh, yeah, I, I guess I should just live with this solace and be, like, perfectly content with the idea that at least I was right. That I am actually just gonna pretty much end up in the same place I was at the start. I just tried to jump. Oh my gosh, I was just completely right. How do I get to the boat? I guess there must be a way through the castle then. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I remember how I walked up these steps and walked right back down. I get the feeling we're not going to be doing that again. Wouldn't it be funny if there was something in these? Never mind. I was about to say, is it super cool to have uh, those there, you know? God, honestly, the boat is in a weird place. I'm not exactly sure how you even go about getting to it. It might even be through there, but that doesn't look like a walkable path. Never mind, it's literally right here. Okay, cool, that's nice. I'm glad I came out here. Hmm. Uh, where was that? Huh. Oh. How about that? You remember that wacky path I was talking about? Right here, fellas. Sort of. I guess I have to be further up. I just don't, I don't even know how I'm supposed to actually activate it, though. Because, uh... You know, it's, it's not really... I have to actually be all the way further up. I think I just had to be... I might even have to be, need to be closer. Or further away. No, further away. Um... Let me sit in the chair. I think I could do it if I was sitting in the chair. Come on! I know you wanna! Um, uh. So yeah, we were sitting around. And at some point, my mom starts talking about, like... Uh, she, t she goes to my brother first, which she's the oldest, which makes sense. And she goes, uh... uh hey, uh, you heard about this thing, the uh, Sigma male? <laughs> And I, I, I start immediately looking around, I'm like, alright, who put our mom up to this? <laughs> and she starts talking, she's like, uh, I don't even remember what she said about it, just like, oh, it's kind of, it's an ultimately good thing. Um, you know what, never mind. Uh, it's like, uh, something about, like, guys stop being weird or something like that, and I'm like, no, it's just, it's still losers. Sort of. It's like losers that can't come to terms with the fact that they're losers, you know. Like I'm I'm a loser. I'm a weirdo, man. <laughs> I'm a freak. I'd be... Anyways. Where would I look at this from? There's gotta be, like, an orange piece, like, up there somewhere that perfectly lines up with this. I would not be surprised in the slightest. But I don't remember how exactly to get up there. And uh, that's not what I sought out to do. I was going to come over here to these boat ruins and get on the boat. And then get off the boat so that I could be fresh off the boat. And then, um... Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that either. <laughs> and, yeah, okay, my mom knows about the Sigma male, isn't that something? Uh, I would hope she would know about it, seeing as I, I am one. But, no. It's like... Uh, like, um, I feel like a lot of things are fine and all, and then someone puts a name on it, and the moment the people that are doing the thing start, like, describing themselves with the name, it just becomes, like, oh, never mind, you're lame, you know? Like, um, God. Uh, it, uh, I don't know why furries was the first thing I thought of. Is that concerning? That's, that was maybe a little concerning, but I, like, in my head, I was thinking about it, like, if you just saw, like, a guy walking down the street in a fursuit, and it wasn't a thing already, you'd be like, oh, that's, that's kind of weird, but it wouldn't be like, oh, that guy probably, like, uh, sleeps with dogs or something, you know, like, there's some wacky stuff, that guy's, uh, <laughs> that guy's, uh, <laughs> yee. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't want to have to interview that guy for a job, you know. Um, ooh. That's interesting. I'll have to get on top of this. 
Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, you know how I said there's no more boat episode? I'm on a boat. Oh, no. Oh, it's the boat episode again. Okay. I know. We did it, guys. So, uh, but uh, of course, furries are still weird and wacky, so never mind. Oh, you know what? This is something. And I wonder if this is something. Of course it is. Cool. That's nice. Wow, I I actually really like that. Reminds me of a a scam that's really easy to do where um I think that's a carnival game even. Uh basically if you have a two-toned belt, it's possible to wrap it around itself in such a way that um well, hell, it's not even that you wrap it around itself in such a way. Like, there's some specific way you wrap it around itself, so much as, like, you can unravel it. Uh, regardless, like, like there, there are ways to unravel it to a uh, specific color on the outside. Hey! Good. I'll stop rambling. A ship owner was about to send to sea an emigrant ship. He knew that she was old, and not well built at the first that she had seen many seas and climes, and often had needed repairs. Doubts had been suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. These doubts preyed upon his mind and made him unhappy. He thought that perhaps he ought to have her thoroughly overhauled and refitted, even though this should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he succeeded in overcoming these melancholy reflections. He said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages and weathered so many storms that it was idle. The story is going to end in the ship sinking. Home from this trip also. He would put his trust in Providence, which could hardly fail to protect all these unhappy families oh, who right, were leaving no, their fatherland have something wrong with to seek it. for better times elsewhere. He would dismiss from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of builders and contractors. In such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was thoroughly safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart and benevolent wishes for the success of the exiles in their strange new home that was to be. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. I knew it. I knew it was going to end like that. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that he was verily guilty of the death of those families, uh, yeah, pretty much. It is much. admitted that he did sincerely believe in the soundness of his ship. And? But the sincerity of his conviction can in no wise help him, because he had no right to believe on such evidence as was before him. He had acquired his belief not by honestly earning it in patient investigation, but by stifling his doubts. Uh, yeah. And although in the end he may have felt so sure about it that he could not think otherwise, Yet inasmuch as he had knowingly and willingly worked himself into that frame of mind, he must be held responsible for it. How would I go about William K. Clifford, this? 1874. So, initially, I think about this as being another one where... Oh, jeez. You go from the smallest to the largest blip is what I would think. What? Why can't I go through here? Uh, that's odd. Is the middle uh, unpassable for some reason? The middle is unpassable for some reason. Huh. Is that uh, normal? Yeah, I suppose that's just the uh, case. That or it's saying there's a Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Don't frickin' tell me. Ha! 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 <laughs> that is evil. Okay, so what it's doing... I'll see if I can properly show this. You know the ones where the, uh, the trail is mirrored or, or otherwise reflected in some way? This is the same, except that the color of the reflected one is the same as the 
color of the everything else. That's evil, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what we're going to try to do. I think I can still do it. I'm just not entirely sure how I go about actually doing it. Alright, let's just say that I was doing it wrong for a really, really long time. And then just leave it at that. Uh... Wait, hi, wait, 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 wait. Is this another, like, light show kind of puzzle? I mean, a really long time. I was operating thinking it was, like, a dot size thing, or maybe had something to do with the colors of the dots, uh, but actually... Is this, just a, is this just a mix of everything? Ding, ding, ding. Give the boy a prize. Uh, I'm just going to try and explain this whole thing now. So, it's, it actually doesn't have anything to do with colors. It is a mirrored puzzle where the lines are uh, linked. And that's why you can't pass the center. And the other one is invisible. But the other thing is... Um, it's the sound puzzle. And you'll notice that uh, there are three colors here, well, two and two blacks. And uh, there are two sounds, two sounds playing. <laughs> and that would be the, the longer kind of more ambient sound. It's like and the water dripping sound. So the water dripping sound is like a loop of three and uh, the longer one is a loop of four and um, so the orange has three and okay that's what it was so the water droplets go do 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 which is low high medium and then the I um, I don't know. I, I'll just call it the ambient noise. I don't. I, I. I've been thinking what it's even supposed to be. I'm just going to call it ambient noise. The uh, suspenseful noise. It goes like up and down, pretty much. So it's like mid, high, mid, low, mid. Um, I think. And the only way that you would even be able to do that in this puzzle, because of how it's laid out, was um, mid, mid, low, mid, high. And, uh, well, you'll see how I end up doing that. <laughs> but that's the theory behind it. All worked out. <laughs> that's them's the breaks, and the, you can use the black dots on either end of the puzzle. So you just go from one, pick up all of the oranges and all that, and then you're donezo. In that case, ah, jeez. Oh, you know what? You know what? I can just... I can not start by going through this middle one. I can do this. Ooh, 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 <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That was... That was honestly less of a breakthrough than I maybe made it sound... Oh, no, not another one of these. Am I even going to be able to see it? Okay, I guess I am technically able to see it. Uh, uh, uh. I feel like I can kind of remember that. It's like a... It's like a peace sign, you know? Yeah, it's a... That's what it is. It's a peace sign. And then, instead of ending the episode, I figured, hey, I know, I'll go back to the media room. But instead of going back to the media room, I obsessed over a couch cushion and this one puzzle here. So, uh, that didn't happen. Maybe it'll happen on the next episode, but, you know, uh, <laughs> kind of jumping the gun by saying something like that, aren't I? Hmm. Well, 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that doesn't work for now. <laughs> and we're just going to deal with that. Maybe on the next episode, but probably not. Until then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will trap you on a boat, and I won't check it, and it'll go down, and I'll still collect the insurance money. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.